we join together like this. It shows what love is all about. Set aside our differences and let us give love a chance. What we do will be fine tomorrow. Don't let peace slip through your hands. Set aside our differences and let us give love a chance. What we do will be fine tomorrow. Don't let peace slip through your hands. People tell your fathers, tell your sons, tell those you love. Today is a discussion with the people from Islamburg, which is a community within our community of um, Muslim Americans. We've created this interfaith forum to discuss the rumors and fear mongering that's been spreading outside of our community and trying to infiltrate into our community. So we want to stop that in its tracks and um, help people understand what Islam is really about and what's really happening in Islam. Well, I think this is a great opportunity. Uh, this was something that we've discussed with them in the past about getting out and being more visible in the community. Um, and I think this is a great idea. And we also hope to bridge the gaps and, you know, bring better understanding between Muslims and Christians and, and others, you know, of other faiths. And also um, locally, you know, uh, we're trying to do more work locally with our um, neighbors. They're no different than we are. And I'm just here to extend my hand and say we're part of the team and uh, get beyond all this uh, nastiness that goes on. What I hope out of all of it is that people learn to love one another, put their differences aside, and, and come together as a community, as a family of anything. In light of recent and past threats to the very lives of members of our own community, I felt compelled to reach out to my Muslim neighbors to first offer my friendship and support, and second, to brainstorm with them ideas for informing the community of the facts about Islam and Islam Berg. So our parents moved up here to help raise a family in a wholesome environment and avoid the crimes that we had experienced, seen in our neighborhoods to raise us in a safe environment, which I thank them for that because now I can raise my children in a safer environment. Islamburg was established in 1984. As you can see today, we have a lot of professionals in our community. We have a lot of um, those same youth that, were, that made that, we call it hijra, that, that pioneering are successful today and we still have a long way to go and a lot of challenges ahead and we're prepared to continue sacrificing and meeting those challenges head on. I went to college, I have my associates, I have my bachelor's, I have my master's, I drive a car, um, <laughs> I talk about finances, I am so not impressed but um, that, is a, that is a very, very large misconception. That is a very, very, very large misconception as well in Islam or the ladies rule. <laughs> After some of the major threats to our community, I began to wonder how a person who knows nothing about me can want to harm me and why. I'm just like everyone else. Everyone here, I'm just like you. Over the years, law enforcement has been a key partner in denouncing far-fetched conspiracies and has developed a relationship with our community, which has been instrumental in protecting us during times of threats and uncertainty. Since 2002, I've been familiar with members of the uh, Islam Berg and uh, I've been invited to their um, homes many times. Today is a great opportunity for you all to get to know them as well as I do. Um, I'm very comfortable going to see them and uh, we've actually had troopers go up and speak at their summer camps over the years and we are very, uh, have, have a good relationships. Pretty much a little bit over a year ago, our community received a call from the FBI informing them that Robert Doggart had been arrested and that he had planned to come to Islamburg and burn down our masjid, our mosque, the school cafeteria, and to kill the residents. Islamburg and the Muslims of America has been under attack by Islamophobes for many years, I would say over a decade. And we have particular media stations who give them an audience and give them that avenue to just come and repeatedly say false, negative, damaging things about Islamburg. When I knew I was coming back to Hancock, I, I, I was determined 
knowing that the community had been here for 30 years, I was determined that I was going to get to know the folks from Islamburg. I wanted to do that on behalf of my children and my grandchildren. I wanted to do something to make peace, to make a difference, so that my kids could grow up in a better world. I think it went extremely well. Uh, it was a great opportunity for the public to interact, ask questions, uh, learn a little bit about the religion, a little, learn a little bit about how they came to be in this area. This is what more of America needs to be. Instead of dividing one another, appreciate one another, respect one another. We always don't have to accept everything the same way, but just showing our respect. That's what this nation's about. Today felt authentic and heartfelt and informed. So we feel like we're working with facts and not um, rage and rumor. You know, in that wouldn't you? Say, that's successful then. I mean, that's a big success. A lot of townspeople here. I didn't count them, but it seems like there are probably over a hundred and. Uh, they all seem to be very, very receptive and very understanding and supportive of the community. You know, you can just feel the room of people who appreciate us being here, and people are so empathetic. I, mean, I, 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 really, I really enjoyed today. I think today's event was powerful. You could feel the energy. I was actually overwhelmed on stage. I don't know if that was caught, but um, the energy was amazing. Um, I, I think at first initially it was a little stiff in the room because there's so much feeling, you know, and so much power. But the energy, the positive energy, really just overwhelmed everyone. And they've been our neighbors, I mean, for over 30 years. And this is one of the first times that we have come together in this matter. And I think that, that this is just, you know, a really good beginning and that good things will flow from it going to uh, reconvene with the committee, we'll, we'll talk about, okay, this was just the beginning, so where do we go from here? Um, I think Dr. Witt's recommendations about doing some community projects are brilliant, and I think that will definitely be on the, the roster, and I think, uh, I think that will go a long way to um, introducing the people of Islamburg to their their local community so they get we get to know them even better. Almighty, we shall overcome all